Hi everyone! So we're gonna do some energy healing today. We will choose a card, a rose card, and let's do some healing. So my name is Lindsay. I'm an energy healer and I'm gonna call upon God, universe, angels, all of the highest beings of infinite love and light to help with this session and allow all this love, light, and healing to go to you your twin flame or your beloved, your soul family, your ancestors, the entire collective and beyond for the highest and the greatest good of all. Okay, card is stuck. It's, ooh. It is the breathing rose and it says heart healing, emotions, connection, and time eases. So, I'm feeling, let's do some heart connection. Let's just do some heart healing. Let's just send some love to our heart. And this is so interesting because this is what I've been doing, like becoming even more intentional, just like over the past um, couple of years. So I've been dealing with some health issues that got worse in the past two years. However, because I have been doing a lot of healing work and cleaning up my diet, like I changed up my diet and so many other things and my health is getting better and better. So that's exciting. Just have way more energy now to feel so much more stronger. My nervous system is healing. So like lots of great things are happening and I'm so thankful because I have made so much progress in the past two years because I think about two years ago. I was so sick, like I could barely get out of bed, had no energy, like I was lying in bed way more than out of bed and everything just took so much energy and my nervous system was in so much pain too, so much pain, it was, it was horrible, it was terrible, so yeah, over the past two years, taking so much time to heal and it also brought so much more deeper love and connection to my body i share more like behind the scenes of like how i'm healing myself all of that stuff like on my instagram so if you're interested in that you can go to my instagram the link is below and i share a lot especially in my stories over on yeah in the ig stories i just show a lot about my health progress what i'm doing to heal and like yeah that's where i most mostly share so if you're interested but back to what I was saying about the heart and the heart connection. Um, I've been becoming way more intentional with this. It's like taking time, especially I like to do this in the morning and then also at nighttime, just spending time, just heart connection, just me and my heart, just like creating just a super sacred, loving time to connect to my heart. And what is going on in my heart, what my heart wants to share and express with me and just holding the space for my heart and just going so deep within my heart. And doing this practice has brought like, tremendous healing and just so much like wisdom. And the main thing is just so much more love and connection and acknowledgement to myself, to my body, to my heart. Because growing up, and maybe a lot of you can relate, right? Like growing up as a child, I didn't receive that type of like deep soul connection or love connection or heart connection. They're, they're all kind of connected, right? But basically being able to really truly be seen, right? Like from my family or from my parents, for them to really truly see me and love me and accept me just as I am. And to be able to hold space for me or have someone to hold space for me. Because being so sensitive and having such deep, deep emotions, you know, and not knowing how to deal with it or handle it or how to move through it, right? Didn't have any of that. And I don't blame my parents or my family. They just, they didn't know how either, right? Like if, if they don't know how, they wouldn't know how to do it for me. So... I learned to do it for myself, right? Like to be able to really hold that space for myself and that love. And I think that's so important 
because a lot of us, we want that from another person, right? We want a deep love or a deep soul connection with someone, like a romantic partner, for example. And the thing is, we have to be able to give that to ourselves as well, right? Because in order for someone to really, truly go deep with us, we have to feel safe within ourselves too, right? Like, of course, somebody can support us with that, of course, right? When it's a really, like, healthy, healthy relationship and both people are willing to put in the work, like, that's so great and so beautiful. And also, it's being able to put in the work and the work and not in a negative way, like the work, like people think, oh, it's so much work, but more like devotion, like devotion and cultivating a relationship with yourself. Like that, I think is so beautiful to give yourself everything that you desire from others or give your inner child all the love and your heart, all the love that you desire and that you want and need to thrive and be feel so good right to feel so good also it's so important as a energy healer energy worker so if you are a light worker if you do energy work or any type of work where you are holding space for people right you are a space holder you are even if it's for your family well family as well right if you're taking care of family and you have yeah, you have children and things like that. You're holding so much space and giving so much of yourself. So it is extra, extra important to really take care of yourself, take care of your heart, give yourself lots of space and lots of love so that you won't go, you're not coming from a place of depletion, right? It's so important to tend to yourself so that you are operating from overflow and not depleting all your energy right taking care of everyone else but not taking care of yourself like it's so important like this is one of the most important things if you're an energy healer or any type of space holder like i would say this is number one because so many people and this is what happened to me too can get burnt out and i think a lot of times too we don't realize how much work it takes to hold space for people and also as a light worker, you have to remember too, like you're holding space for the whole planet as well. Like you're all of the light workers of the planet, just like grounding things in, bringing in all the light. We're anchoring so much light and that can take a lot too. So another thing you don't want to be taking on, um, you don't want to be absorbing the collective energy, right? So it's so important to right connect to yourself check in see what's going on right so that you know what is yours and what is not anyone else's so that's important too <laughs> this turned into a longer talk than i thought but i think a lot of people needed to hear this so if this helped you let me know comment below but there's so much to say about the heart so much to say and just talking about it already I think brings so much awareness and that's important too. But let's do some healing. Let's just take some time to just connect to your heart. So just call all your energy to yourself. Get nice and grounded. Call all of your energy to you. <sighs> Place your hand on your heart. One hand or two hands. I love two hands. Just, you can even do this. Let's... Rub your hands together. Let's create some energy, some warmth. Bring in the love. Allowing all the love from God, from the universe, from your angels, from your guides, from Divine Mother Earth to flow down from the top of your head all the way down to your body, all the way down to your toes. Feeling your toes start uh, activating your toes. <laughs> your toes feeling the love and the energy vibration all the way down into the earth back up and let's place your hands on your heart feeling the warmth and the love and the connection so the card says heart healing emotions and connections so right when it comes to our heart 
so many emotions we can we feel so many different emotions and if you are sensitive I'm sure you feel many things and maybe a lot of emotions that not other people might be aware of or they might not feel it as deeply as you so just take a time let's just honor that honor your heart and all of your emotions and the depth of your heart and your soul and so much love and gratitude for your big heart your beautiful heart your loving heart that feels so much and you give so much just take time to acknowledge yourself all that you do giving yourself so much love just imagine or envision not imagine because this is real right magic is real energy is real so envision all the love from the universe from God you're receiving it back through you just replenishing you filling up your body replenishing your heart so much love allowing your heart to just soak in all the love and if there's any parts of your heart that might be feeling scared or afraid or any wounds like any tender parts just allowing the love you can envision any color you like so golden light rainbow light white light sparkly light <laughs> green light whatever color <sighs> allow the different lights and frequencies to come down through your body into your heart just allowing your heart to receive receive as much as you give out into the world receive infinite times as much as you give to the world I'm setting the intention that any time you give love or you hold space for of others, you receive infinite back as well. <sighs> to support you and your own healing and your own love and your own connection. <sighs> so allowing all that love to soak in your heart is receiving so much love. And also I feel like the earth. So let's see if you can really tune into that. Sense the earth. Beautiful, beautiful Mother Earth. <sighs> Sensing into all her love and her light for you. <sighs> she brings up her beautiful grounding energy up through your feet and your grounding cord into your body sensing all of her love and her support anchoring you in grounding so that you are so safe and supported to do all the things that you desire to do and receive all the love <laughs> and the abundance and the money and the joy and the bliss and the peace and whatever it is Allowing you to have all the space and the support to receive it all. <sighs> Ease and grace and love. Okay. <sighs> so that is just like one version of what you can do. There's so many things you can do when it comes to connecting to your heart, right? Like... We could have took time, and this is something you can do on your own as well. Just take time to your heart. You can ask your heart if it has any messages or wisdom for you. Or if there's anything that your heart wants to express. It might not be words, it might just be a feeling. But doing this, like taking time to connect to your heart. Also allowing you to receive, like envisioning all the beautiful colors and love to flow down and fill up your heart and your body. Just replenishing your energy is so powerful and so important. You can do this anytime. You can do this multiple times a day, just even a few minutes a day. I Again, I like to do it in the morning just to have some really 
really it's like a relationship right you're cultivating a relationship with yourself just like how you would want a relationship or you know with another person it takes time it takes a lot of time and effort and connection so it's the same with deepening a connection with your own body with your own heart right every time you connect gets deeper and deeper and stronger and stronger and this goes with everything with your connection to the, to god to the universe your connection to the earth every time you connect it gets stronger and stronger so it's like a beautiful relationship that you are cultivating and the relationship continues to evolve and unravel and reveal itself even more and even your heart starts to feel safer your body starts to feel safer because you're building such a beautiful relationship that your heart can start to reveal to you like deeper levels and layers and maybe some more vulnerable parts right it's the same with your connection to the earth every time we ground and we connect with the earth and even the earth can start to feel safer with you and even the earth can give start to open herself up to you and you start to feel even her vulnerabilities as well so it's like a sacred connection everything in life we can cultivate a sacred connection and create the connection that we desire but that it takes time right like it takes time just like all relationships and it just re really depends on how deep you want to go and how yeah what your intention is right it's all about your intention and your desires so i hope this helped you it was a lot deeper than i expected this is so fun i could talk all about the heart like so many layers and levels with the heart and the heart is something too that i'm really passionate about like our connection to ourselves and our heart and also our heart's connection to others like in other videos right we have I have a lot of twin flame healing videos, so that's a lot of the heart connection with, yeah, with your twin flame or your beloved. So I love all about the heart and the connection. Um, and if you want to go deeper, you can check out my healing downloads. The link is below. This week's newest healing download is the, uh, it's a powerful energy healing for your soul's rebirthing timeline so this is about your your the point of your conception of this lifetime and your entire development of your of your body as you were being developed in your mother's womb until your birth so it's a rebirthing of your timeline and we are cultivating a super deep connection creating all that love and remembering all that love and who you truly are so that you can feel that love and deep connection to yourself to your heart to your soul by clearing all the things and all the conditionings because a lot of our conditionings ancestral collective so societal all that stuff can get ingrained in us as we were being developed in our mother's womb so in the download we do some deep healing on your mother's womb as well between your parents between you and your parents clearing the ancestral lines too in relation to your connection to your your birth and um, we go really deep we clear a lot of like your whole entire physical development as you are being developed in your mother's womb so much healing and bringing in so much love and then the remembrance of the love that was there so no matter what took place in the actual physical development and your actual birth it's like the rebirthing on the energetic level so that you right now right your adult self can can um receive all that love and operate You'll be able to live your life in a much more deeper, profound, soul-connected, infinite loving way. <laughs> so it's very deep, very powerful. Highly recommend it. Check it out below. And uh, Also, if you want to work with me, we can do healing. So either you can get a recorded, personalized session with me. And that one, like you would... I would send you a questionnaire. You can share with me what's going on. And then I will tune into your energy. And we do 
energy healing it's very powerful and then also my other option is we can work together so it's for three months three months or six months and these sessions are live sessions so that we can I'm able to hold space for you and help you to connect deeply to your own heart to your own soul to your own medicine and magic so that you can explore your own energy world your own it's like a soul journey and you're able to do the healing right i'm i'm it's like i'm guiding you but also holding a space and just helping you to support you but you're the one doing the healing in the live sessions and i'm just helping you like if you get stuck of course i'm going to guide you and help you but ultimately it's you and i'm holding a space for you so deeply so that you can do that and i really like both ways the recorded way is great too you can listen to it anytime you desire and that one is like energy healing style right like i'm able to tune into your energy see what's going on energy leaks all that all that stuff and clean clean that up right and shift things really quickly and easily and then also it's so beautiful when we do the live sessions and you're able to do it like it just so empowering to know that you can do that you can tune into your own energy and shift things for yourself it's so powerful and so magical and you're able to do that like you're gonna because we do it together in the sessions and in between sessions you can do it yourself as well you get to know your energy you get to know yourself so deeply and like i was saying it's so powerful to be able to do that because it's going to help you to create that with other people as well if that's what you desire with like for example romantic partner right by being able to cultivate such a beautiful connection with yourself and be so empowered to do that then with other people as well it opens the space up so you can have that type of relationship with other people too because again it, it all starts with you and we can explore anything in the energy world right anything so whatever patterns or stories you want to take a look at or just whatever is cur currently going on in your life we can help you and support you to go deep within your heart and you're able to receive all the wisdom because all the wisdom is inside of you all the love is inside of you right so it's just being able to know how to anchor that in and connect to it so I have these two beautiful offers, right? The personalized or the live session. And I am so happy and excited if you want to work with me. And all the link all the links are below and the info is below. And I'll see you guys later. Lots of love. Bye.